Hello, I'm Marilyn Hall. Welcome to part five of Making a Dirndl. Today we're working on the skirt and the pockets. My skirt pattern has got to be the easiest pattern that there's ever been. It's just one big rectangle that you use for each side of the skirt. And it starts out, I use the doctor's examining table paper that I, that I talked about in my first video. See-through, very nice. It just is so easy to work with. And basically I use the same pattern for many, many dresses because they're all basically the same. I started out with the salvage edge of my fabric right here at the center front. And then I allowed a half an inch seam allowance for the um, to sew the zipper in and the seam that, that'll go down to the to the bottom. I have three inches before the first uh, pleat starts. And the first pleat will I'll allow three inches for it because it goes in one and a half inches and out one and a half inches. So each pleat I'm allowing three inches. So I have two inches for skirt, three inches for pleat, two inches for skirt and three inches for pleat. In the middle of the third pleat, something magical happens. We put it in a couple of really awesome pockets, and these are so neat. You can even use a different color fabric. No one will even see it because it's buried inside of the pleat. Okay, my pockets I make are really big because I know that you need to take your camera, your cell phone, your lipstick, your car keys, your ID, your money. You've got a lot of things in your pockets, and you need to have room to get your hand in and out of the pocket with your stuff. If you don't have nice pockets, when you're down at Oktoberfest and you want to go dance, you have to say, hey, who's going to watch my purse? Because you don't want to leave your stuff. This way you've got it all with you. So don't skimp and think you can, uh, I don't need to have pockets. I don't want to bother doing it. Later on, you're going to regret it, and it's a lot more trouble to open up the dress and stick a pocket in after it's all sewn. So do it right now and you'll save the trouble. My pocket pieces are just as simple as this. You're going to cut two of them and you're going to lay them on the front of your uh, pattern, the front of your dirndl, right here in the middle of the third pleat. To mark this pleat, I'm going to show you how to do it. You can buy something called tracing paper. Mine came with navy blue, red, yellow, and it's kind of got a waxy colored coating on one side. If you fold it in half, you can mark two pieces of fabric at the same time. If you put it, now see, here's my skirt, and I'm going to put this yellow inside of it, fold it in half, and if I lay the two pieces, one on top of the other, and then I mark where my, my uh, pattern uh, pieces go, it will, with the pressure that I make from the little roller, it'll mark both sides at the same time. Okay. Well, my fabric that I'm using today is going to be 44 to 45 inches width. This pattern I have will go all the way up for a 60 inch um, piece of like fabric that's a suiting or something like that. So this will fit many, many sizes. So this is a really handy pattern to have. And the pockets are awesome. Basically, you could make your own pockets so simple. All you need is a rec um, 90 degree, degree angle here. Have it come over about, let's see, it looks like it's 4 inches here six inches here and you can make them how big you wanted so just watching this video you can make your own quite simply just make sure that this line straight this line straight and you have a notch here because you're going to be sewing through that i'm going to show you right now how to get started on this well i've got my pattern all done now for my granddaughter's dress her skirt is going to be 24 inches done when it's finished so i've allowed two and a half inches down here for him half inch for receive allowance on top so i need to cut her fabric 27 inches to make it be exactly what I want when I'm finished, which is 24. And we have 44, 45 inch wide fabric, so we're going to have two panels of that. And I'll just have the salvage edge here in the front, and the salvage edge will be somewhere here towards the center of the back. And as we do the folds, we'll just end whenever we reach to the center of the back. It's so simple. And I will email this to anybody who would like it. Just let me know. And I also have a little dirndl pleat guide for dirndl skirts up to about a 38 inch waist. And it'll just show how to lay out these pleats. Real simple. How much fabric you'll need. And I'll email that to anybody who needs that. My granddaughter's dress is going to be 24 inches long, but I need to cut it at 27, so I've measured over 27 inches. So I'm going to snip it, and I'm going to rip it. twice to give me two panels, one for each side of the skirt. After you trace the line exactly where you want to put your pockets, and you've got that line there, then you remove your pattern, and you lay the two pocket pieces right there on the front of your dirndl and this is the, the right side of your dirndl that's going to show and you're going to put the pockets just face down on there and we're going to sew them on there. I'm going to start stitching on the left pocket. I'm going to usually go in about just a three-eighths of an inch, quarter inch, something like that. Just regular stitching. Stitch right down. Now here's the important thing. When you get past this notch, you just slowly, slowly go in 
you get to the middle of the line and then stop and leave your needle in. Pick up your fabric and turn it. And then put the presser foot back down. And you're going to stitch back out toward, towards the notch on the other side. When you get there, just go straight up right along that line. And when you get to the end, just sew right off and cut your strings. And it's going to look kind of like this. The next step is you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut right straight through the front of the dirndl, right between those two pockets. And you're going to go past the notches, but don't go past the stitching that you just stitched. Go an inch or so in, so that the front of your dirndl is now cut open and your two pockets are sewn on. So the looks stitching like that. that we just did was sewing both pocket halves onto one side of the dirndl front, um, right sides together. So this is the wrong side. And after you sew it, you, you've gone all the way up and back, and then you cut straight down along that first line that you drew, up to the stitching, but don't go through the stitching, and then you've got the pocket pieces ready to be sewn in. This direction is going to be the center zipper part of your dress. That means the pockets are going to go this way. So I'm going to flip this down. I'm going to iron this pocket this direction. And then I'm going to fold this up. And the other pocket's going to iron that direction too. They're going to iron towards the pocket. I'm going to lay them right on top of each other. I'm going to iron this seam allowance towards the center or towards the pocket. Now this is the second pocket and it's going to go this way towards the zipper. So I'm going to move this one out of the way and fold this in. I'm going to iron it so that the seam goes in towards the center like that. And I'm going to fold the other piece up on top of it. So it's right sides together again. Now lay that right on top of it, line it up. I'm going to iron this towards the pocket, just like I did the other one. After you get each pocket ironed, you're going to line up the top of it, and pin it in place, sort of like I'm doing here to make sure it's lined up nice. And then you're going to pin the whole pocket I together. Pin the pocket pieces together the, so that they are right sides together, like this. And I pinned where the seam allowance will be where I'm going to sew the skirt to the bodice. So this is going to be sewn. So you want to make sure that between this spot you'll have a 5 inch, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 inch opening for your hand. And this is the mark where the pin is. When I get sewing I'm going to start up here, sew across, down, up, and then when I get here I'm going to stop right at that pin. And then I'm going to pivot and come down and trail off into this fold and this will give me a nice size opening for a hand. Okay, I've just sewn the pocket to itself along the top edge and I've come to the corner. I'm going to stop and pivot and I'm going to sew down into the pocket. Now I have to take care when I get here to hold this seam allowance towards the left so that it won't fold back. I'm just going to zip up until I come to that pin and I'm going to stop with my needle in, lift up the presser foot and turn. I'm going to put the presser foot down and then I'm going to stitch into this seam allowance closing up this little hole where I snipped earlier. I'm going to go past this stitching and just trail off into the fold. Now just to make sure your pockets are extra secure, you might want to come and stitch one more line of stitching just to the outside of this, or you could zigzag it, or if you have a serger you can do it any one of those ways and we'll finish it off really nicely for double protection. Okay, now we can see how well this works. I open it up and you can see this little pocket hidden here and your hand goes right in. And this is going to be right there in the front and it's pink but it's not going to ever show because this fold will come over and plus you'll be covering it with your apron. I went ahead and surged my pocket edges 
and I serged the raw edge of my skirt before I did all the pleats because I need to uh, have the edges nice when I uh, change the pleats later on to fit a, a bigger or smaller person and you can wait till you're done doing all the pleats and finish them off if you'd like to do it that way. Now that I've finished sewing my pocket in, you can see how it's lined up over my, my pattern lined up okay, over I've it. I've sewn two pockets in. I've sewn one on the left side of the skirt and one on the right side. This is the one on the left side. So right underneath this line right here, that's where one pocket is and it's ironed towards the uh, center seam. I'm going to go through with my dressmaking marking pencil. I have a white one since I have black fabric and I'm going to draw a line everywhere one of these pleat marks are and make a little X or an O and then I'm going to come and I'm going to fold each of the folds over in exactly where they need to go and they fold away from the center of the front, front of the dress. I'm going to do that right now. Okay, I put my pens everywhere where the, where the X's and the O's are. So I'm going to remove my pattern. Okay, I put a pin on every line that was either an X or an O. This is an X and this is an O. So what you do is you take the X and you'd mark it with a pin and move it over on top of the O and pin it in place. I usually pin it two places. I pin it where the pleat is underneath so that it won't um, fold up funny and I pin it right where the, the fold is that you're going to see on the front. So each pleat will have two pins on it and you go around the skirt and find every X and every O and on the third one there will be a pocket hidden in the middle of it and when you get done folding the pleat you won't even see that, that pocket at all. You'll just see pleat, pleat, pleat. It took me just a few minutes to put all these pins in. Inside of this third pleat is my pocket. This is my whole left side of the skirt. This will be the center front of the dress where there will be a zipper and then it wraps around all these pleats and the center back will be somewhere in this vicinity. I have a couple extra inches of fabric here that's not pleated and I can either cut that off or I'll turn this last pleat into a bigger pleat or I might make a tiny a one more pleat. I just uh, see how it comes out in the back. Now that I finished doing the pins on one side of my skirt, I have to do the pleats and the pins on the other side. So this other pocket, I flip my pattern backwards and so this pocket's now going to face this direction on the right side of the skirt and the center front um, will be right here where the zipper will be and so over three inches is my first pleat, my X. It's going to fold to this O, my next X to this O and this X to this O and underneath it is where my pocket is hidden and I'm going to go ahead and do the pins all the way that way and fold those pleats just like I did on the other side. In the next part we're going to put the, the skirt and the bodice together. Okay, well I've got two skirt panels done, one for the right, one for the left. they got the two pockets, so join me for part six where we'll sew the back of the skirt together, fit it to the bodice, and we're going to put it all together.